Welcome back, guys, to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, we met a kid that I do not like in the game in the slightest. But, we got a new lead on him. And today's the trial. Is Will Powers innocent? Or maybe the kid did it. Let's hope that we can actually do this. Um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Do you... Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, no, nothing. <laughs> really, it, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yeah, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have, we have to find something in Phoenix today. Is that or we lose a trial? This isn't going to be easy. True. This is probably going to be the most stressful episode yet. Well, I know case four is going to be pretty tough. Which, by the way, guys, before we continue this, I'm going to kind of cut this over. Not really. I'm just going to say this now. We're almost done with the series. We're on the third. We're on the third game. Uh, third case. And this is near the end of the case. I don't want to say goodbye to this game, but we're going to have to and move on. Now, if you guys do like this series, please let me know down in the comments below because I really do want this series to be considered like one of the, like this series to continue. Again, we still have, you know, we still have Justice for All right here that's on this as well and uh, Trial and Tribulations. We also have um, the Great Ace Attorney and the Miles Edwards cases. And a spin-off as well that we can do. But that's all if you want me to play through it. If you don't, I don't understand. But if you do, please let me know down below. And I probably would definitely mean it because it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Or, yeah, one of my favorite game franchises of all time. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. William Powers. Or Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fate has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people involved at, this, at the place. Today I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well, you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if I'll, it'll be that producer. Project, oh yeah, piss the director. <laughs> Sup, Sam? <laughs> I know a person named Sam. Sam, if you're watching this, this is no insult to you. I promise. All right, guys, be prepared. How rude can you get? You do not know me. I'm the director. I make the Steel Samurai noob. Salmonella. I'm a director in television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. Powers is innocent. You know what that means. Someone in that trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. There you go. I was at the studio from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run scene. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee's area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. Is that it? Hmm. The time of death. Mr. Hammer's death at 2.30 in court. You're in the meeting at the time you need to begin the Oh, 
hold it. I'm gonna take a single break. Or, well, yeah, another one. So I've, hmm, what's, what's going on? I only have a deal. Oh, wait. Phoenix. That was why I was going to finish. Hold it. What, what were you discussing? The skills and rise of our budget. Get this. The sponsor's turn. He say, Mr. Manila, the scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting. Ah, oh, no! At least, can you can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah, that's something. It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd that nobody mentioned it. Mr. Manila, huh? What do you want? When I went to Studio Two, I saw something on the table. There was two plates, the same kind of plates that the ones in the area. Who ate lunch? <laughs> no, uh, good call. I I was embarrassed that I didn't mention it, but I did eat after all. Keep on sneaky. Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to my trailer so I could eat it there. Go your man who likes to eat. I suspected him. So, when did, when exactly did you eat? We took him one minute. We took a break! I removed it down there. Wait a second. Did it take a single break? Or, well, yeah, no, it's not one. Hmm. Press harder. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that team bone steak during a break? Oops, rolling on the floor laughing. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio. Your, uh, your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well, Mr. Manello. Testimony, please. <laughs> oh no, Edgeworth is laughing. The break. Yeah. FYI, W. I mean, FWIW. We. For what it's worth, we took a break. But it was only 15 minutes. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, come in a... No, it's who you want. That's only just the time to eat a table steak, if you ask me, it seems. I don't think it would even be enough time for just that, but that's just me! But you said no break! Why is that? I have to say, you look like the type of guy who used to be pretty fast. Well, I was, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food bowl. Well, Phoenix, I guess I'm going to your shirt tonight. Right. Oh frick, I didn't mean it. I'm just gonna save over that. But no, I, I didn't mean to press X. What else? 
two of them. Here we have the other one of those people. Sorry, Dean. Really, you could have. Why do I feel like that would work? That would be enough. No. Oh. Crap, man. Oh, crap. No. Enough of that. Enough of that, Yin Yang. Enough, enough of that. Yin Yang's freaking just looking at me like. Can you stop with the. From around 2.30 or so until... So can I present that? I highly doubt. I love that clip. <laughs> the guy is like guilty. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> I was looking at Justin for. <laughs> okay. That's a cat picture.
Yeah, but how can I prove it? Like that. Nope, okay. We're just gonna focus on that. We'll just focus on... No, freaking crap! Luckily that one ain't that long, so I don't have to think. Judge! Dude. I think it's the first one. Oh my god, I... Ah! But I can't press him and say anything else. I'm guessing he, he, he's saying that it's only... Because he said that's enough time. So I guess gotta prove that you can make it there. Yeah, you can go from Studio One down there, but you can't because there's that barrier. Okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to grab something. So he's saying that it's physically improbable. No, I want to load the game. Yes, please. Okay. So how many does? Okay. So there's Jesus. Two, three, four. And then what do we have to present? We have A for autopsy, photo, so we'll put a PH, 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 map, spear. I mean, I don't think spear would really help. Bottle, which I don't think will help. H for head. Uh, 
and then P. I just mark them off as I go. Wait, so, okay, one, two, three, four. So we'll present. Optopsy for three. Or was that two? That was for two. So we know the autopsy doesn't report for three, right? Can I present that? Nope. Hey! Hey! No! You're not going near that. God, this is going to take me a minute. I'll be right back. Jeez. So finally, I guess I had to press them. Enough to tick them off. Your Honor, this testimony to this fact is most painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with the murder. It was impossible to really want to go into Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Ray? You surely... I suggest we want to prove it. No, no, no. This is critical thinking. Alright. Let's do this. Who these home goods are for sure? The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break, break in the morning. Which 15 murder is certainly a possibility. So I'm kind of you might say that, although, but I got the judge thinking. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. Court record? Surely you knew that from four uh, to twenty minutes after you locked. Okay, I guess that. Oh, whoa, you're right. True, the break in the trailer. I mean, he came up right at the time of death. However, the path from there brought from the same time. The, the monk, uh, the fallen monkey head was walking away. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it that it had nobody in the trailer's time. Ha ha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treating on the nice trading. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True the break of the trailer from death. It was blocked. The phone monkey has buried away. 
I believe we have enough evidence. So let's see where we leave. Well, it's over. Very well, the court opinion on those papers follows. It was also clear that none of these people could have gone to City of One, therefore, have no relation to the case. Furthermore, with regard to Scarlet Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other. All that is lacking is the type of evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find the entire room. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we have indeed have a decisive evidence of a witness. Who is this? Mr. Edgeworth, my witness saw the very moment that when this samurai skewered the victim. No, 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 it's not. It can't be. Order. I'll have order. Yeah, I'll take a double cheeseburger. Okay, I see. The court will take a minute recess. Court is adjourned. What do we have now, Mia? Does everyone in that trailer have an alibi? Sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I'd never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only thing became clear in the cross examination. People in the trailer could not have gone to to one. Oh no. I thought there was more than two than that. But I guess I was wrong. That's all there is. Um where what's gonna happen to me? Just because I was in the courtroom think I did. Everyone thinks I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we will prove. Okay, I guarantee. Leave it to us and to yourself. Be strong. There's still steel samurai. They killed him everywhere after all. I you think. Okay, Phoenix. Just one for the kid. Let's do it. Yeah. We're we'll back in session. Do you have any concern? As our, as our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edward taking the moral high ground. Anyways, we have no choice but Corey to stand. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange the box for Miss Hen. All right, guard, bring him a box. One of those donut crates, could you? <laughs> cool. Witness. Why? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody, answer your questions, okay? Hey, it's you. It's a nice lady. I'm Cody Hawkins. And yeah, it's gonna be a long day. <clears throat> it's gonna be a long day. <sighs> when is her, I mean, Cody. I don't know You probably struggle with feeling Got a problem with that? There's a little way to talk about that. What, Pop? You want me to tell you and Rip with the beard over there? That's my best movie. I prefer <laughs> so much beer than this movie. <laughs> oh, very long, guys. Decently, but uh, this is a bit of a more. My apologies, Your Honor, if you said you you wouldn't testify if you can't bring that. I'd like special permission to testify. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, you just got this camera. Don't really know how to use it all, the, all that good. But I'm bringing with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder. Yeah. So could he please testify to this? Of course! I want to see it too. Don't worry, it's hard for Just one. Find a map on the internet and we'll just see you back there. I think it was off the path of that, but he wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio, trying to walk off the way, about 30, about 30 minutes. Then I came by the studio, there was a steel samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. I came back there. 
course, your camera took me down. How? I'm a camera with me that wouldn't it would come to stop. Anyways, I couldn't get into the city of Sally. Hmm. Well, the defense may begin. But be gentle, remember you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than lower adults we've seen in here, honestly. Yeah, April May really. Like once we talk to her, yeah, but for that, this kid's really annoying. I really hate this kid. Oh crap, no, 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 no. I want to save, because I got an idea. I hate this one. <laughs> Do it. Cody, what did you just say? He's a little strange. Did you say before that you always bring your digital camera everywhere you go? We were quite clear about that. Huh? Yeah, that's why. Right. Okay, so. Hey, over here. Uh oh, I was putting the pressure on him. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a newspaper camera. I see. Anyways, Cody, I can't believe you would want to bring your camera on to the studio. You did bring it, didn't you? Um. You're right. How cool you are to terrorize us, first. Okay, we're the child or a prosecuting attorney. No one to lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody. What? Yes, yeah, so I have my camera, so what? Got a problem with that? Hmm. Yeah, well. So, did you have your camera? Did you use this? No, you guys. Who was he watching? Hmm. Very well, please testify. I yeah, my camera was in the blood. Oh, due to the accident, I couldn't take my eyes off. Still feeling my eyes. And that guy went in. Yeah. That was brief. We always have brief ones. Where were the last guys with like four? Nope, that's not the. That has to be one of them, though. Like, that has to be one of the contradictions, because. Think about it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna save. I need to save. Why? Well, what do you mean, why? Why wasn't he moving? Well, because it's from the distance. And how exactly did he do it? Huh? How did he do it? Alright, samurai this, samurai that, something like that. What? Don't give me that little pop. Should I push him harder? Because if I push him harder, maybe I'll get. Cody? What? Oh, well, that was the right way. Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? You missed the most important part. What's the meaning of this? The window is clearly what he saw. Shut up! You know, well, I knew he'd be in game. Tell me what kind of murder he uses a samurai slap. The point is, Cody, you must have seen some of this. The samurai fight. But you missed the most important part the killing blow. Or 
heart one. Remember, right? How can we go? Can you? How can we miss something so vital? Well, or that's the thing. I believe you're on the right track. Bum, bum, bum. Thanks. Why did you go to see the corner of this fight? I know you. You very well. Can you write any questions? Why won't. What if he's camera? Because he'd be trying to focus to take a picture. Here's a proof. The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at it as his camera. He's trying to take a picture. Oh! Bullseye. What are you? Problem. Cutting on me. I mean, picking on me. Probably not picking. We got Phoenix. But he was clearly lying. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero not take a picture of it. Right? Cody, there was one, only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. And have... Having just received your camera, you weren't used to it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. <laughs> well, Phoenix, I'll bet, uh, I'll bet you he's hiding more than that. I will testify to you. Right, maybe he does Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins test We're done. All right, Cody, could you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight. Um, welcome to the real world, kid. Yeah, you're right, Pops. This is where I just escaped from the villain's clutches. From the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera and take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open, so I missed it. And that's all. I, that's happened, yep. I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with it. <laughs> I'll examine this. Yeah, I mean, I can't really find a problem with it. I'm thinking what I'll do. Hold it. Okay, you take the picture. That's all? Yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. I would have once I got the lens. I think we should press him harder on this too. It's been working so far. Yeah, he definitely will agree. Cody, listen up, Cody Hawkins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye. How'd you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hawkins. It's one of my powers. This feels kind of great. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can do this. Mm. I knew that was coming handy. Cody? What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I got to every live performance. I always take a picture when the samurai lands the final blow. I got them all. I never miss one. Perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the kill samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you just erased it. When you keep it for your album. Ah! That's a right. What exactly is this album? It's called Path of Glory. I'm trying to find something small. That's not too bad. I 
<laughs> we have Phoenix in space. There we go. Saw a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hawkins. Come to the perfect collection of every battle the Samurai has won. I see! Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Well, all I heard of him so I don't know him to know. All I remember I am in a community to see the picture of the Saint Your Honor. Wait, no way. Who's Poop? And what's Poop? Yeah, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes. Pretty sure. Something some of the Things the only reason Shield Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted the picture. You mean this? Shield Samurai as well. Well, Cody, am I right or am I wrong? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated us. No way, no. It's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses even with its own one. Turn the witness has revealed everything with his brother. There was a reason why he lied. They told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photo. For Cody, it was inconvincible that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Samurai lose. Get to admit that he so was destroyed with his delusion. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> that was almost sink. Order, I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? Or did you see? Tell the court what you saw. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai fell, then he didn't lose. Whoa! I don't know, man, that's just funny, man. Me win. Order, order, order. I'm kind of standing here trying to pull this guy. Hey, I'm the murderer, not the victim. And of course, we were with it, got the money, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Alright, we'll go on. Apparently we have all moves to his earth. Yeah. Oh, cause then you understand what really happened, quite simple. In a fight, the steel sound like Walter Grand was still. In other words, the steel sound was a killer. I mean, it was not the killer, he was the victim, don't you see? Jack Hammer was the steel sniper. Order, order! So the steel samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he was obviously knew about Will's Will Power's foot injury. But wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to the studio one already? That's what everyone thought. So remember what Miss Oldag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. Nope. He'd already gone to the theater before I got him back to my guard station. Because Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. No one, however, no one saw him go to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Powers to take a nap and the dressing room. He snuck in to the dressing room and stole the samurai costume. But why would he do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought the steel, the steel, steel samurai was a moving spring. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pop. Not me. What? Actually, there was one piece of detail I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. What? Show us quick. No way, man. Now you're gonna. I'm gonna move like that. Now. Here. This is it. <laughs> well, looking at this.
this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. In your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't that type of evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof that we need. I'll get it back. Wait, Phoenix, what? I got a photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence we need to win the trial. Wait, what? Your Honor, may I see that photo one more time? Phoenix, show me. Show me the glaring. It's Studio 2! He was at Studio... Your Honor, look at this! I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on the gate? The number? Ah, yes! Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a 2. Clearly not a 1, Your Honor. Correct. Ugh. I believe Mr. Edwards sees what I'm getting at. But, that's impossible. Hmm? Yeah, what's this all about? Please explain so that I might be <laughs> shot the wall with the rest of the court. <laughs> I see the studio guide map. But why don't we find two to the one? However, what do you mean to put it on the room? Do not say one on that photo. Alright. You're choosing a crime, show the drug. Press studio two, I see that would explain the two. In other words, the victim did their two before that time. Remember, there's someone that was testimony. Let me tell you, the court said no one in the trailer was guilty because they they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet, in actual truth, the first was true. Only someone in the trailer could have mur committed this murder. There were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime in Studio Two. And then I'm guessing they put their body there in Studio One. But you may recall their Instead, one now on that day, a meeting from that very trailer, there was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Solomon Salmonella, I mean Salmonella, and Miss Deans and Please were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Order, order. The defense makes the following claims. Scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Ms. Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Jack Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. And he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim, why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did it so he could cover up the details of his own murder? Well, well no, of course. What would you have to... I have proof. I have proof. You do? You do? I didn't press five. Please don't start penalizing me.
This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee's area. Yes, he was sleeping pills. I feel like I know. So the entire afternoon he was drugged by this thing. Wait a moment. The bottle does work. Some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof Mr. Hammer used it. For fingerprints. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take it into position of the bottle. Thank you. Well, court will suspend processing on the trial today. Go yak and notes. The only possibility, okay? In fact, things may have happened very differently than we processed. Differently, the steel samurai seen by Miss Old Bag may have been the victim of Jack Hammer. It seems Graham has not studio you one, but studio two. It says that a trailer did not have time to commit the murder, right? The drummer? Your homework is to find the final question. Why would Mr. Steel steal? I mean, why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answer by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. It's right work. Mm -hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. But while well, you need you will need to reconsider your suspicions of Mr. Will Power. That is you say, Your Honor. I will extend until tomorrow. This is the last extension. All right. Very well. Court is adjourned. That was great. Now we can definitely, because there was that fence. In my opinion, I think that, I think that uh, fence has something to do with it. It's been, phew, that was a close one. You were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. Me too. <laughs> really? You both seem so confident. Ha! Maybe I should take you up uh, her and acting. I'm ready to pronounce you dead about three times. Okay. Me too. Dead? Oh, of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? Now, Mr. Bowers, we have to go make our final investigation, and I promise you we will find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. That'll be next time in Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Thank you all for watching. See you guys in the final part of Case 3.